Good morning, friends. I have so many friends that some of them will have had the password hacked. 152 million passwords were hacked in just one site just last month. That was Adobe.com. The problem with that is that many people use the same password in multiple sites. I have a solution for that. It's simple to do. It's simple to understand. Build a mnemonic, an acronym. For example, I have so many friends that I do the birthdays while sitting on the toilet seat. 15 characters. You make that an acronym, you type that, and that's your perfect password. You're going to remember it has a substantially high entropy, and it has what is called relative entropy. It means that it's extremely difficult to associate that password with you, because you're not going to be telling your friends that, for example. Another thing that is important is to salt the passwords. To salt means to do little variations of the passwords across different sites. In other words, never use the same password in the same case across multiple sites. For example, for friends and Facebook, for example, you can say I'm going to put in uppercase or to stress the F for friends, the S for so, the M for many, and so on. For LinkedIn, I want to stress, for example, other letters. It does not matter which letters you stress. What it does matter is that you never, ever, ever, ever use the same password with the same case across multiple sites. That's stupid. If your username is joblogs at hotmail.com, whatever is your password, if you register with that name, don't use the same password. This is not your password that is being checked, that is your username. It's a username that you choose to be your email address for your nickname, but it, it could be anything else. But whatever you put as password, make it dependent on the site. If Bank of America asks me for my mother maiden name, the answer that Bank of America gets is different than Citibank gets. Why? Because it's salted for the bank. The same happens with the password. Each site should have a different variation of your password depending on the site that you're providing the password to. Please, please, please don't be stupid. I don't want to receive fake requests or viruses or anything that allegedly comes with you 